third or fourth time's a charm. Now I'm going to look in the, in the lens versus looking at the thing on the side. Um, more safety videos. Um, one of the most important things you need to have when you're cycling, especially when you get out of the neighborhood. I mean, if you're dealing with kids riding, that's one thing around the neighborhood, riding through parks, things like that. But once you get on any sort of a road, um, is visibility. Uh, this day and age, uh, with people being distracted with uh, cell phones and uh, a lot of their cars are extremely high tech, have a lot of, of displays and things that are distracting drivers. Uh, on top of the things that in the past have always distracted drivers, um, eating and doing makeup and things like that. But the biggest distraction is the phone. So the biggest thing I can stress is visibility. Um, uh, Bicycling Magazine said that the chance of you having a problem with a car uh, when you're out riding is getting hit from behind. 65% uh, of the time that's what will happen, you'll get hit from behind. And, and lighting is huge. You need to have some sort of lighting to help with their uh, ability to see you. Uh, this is a tail light. These are both uh, lights. They're both rechargeable. They can both be used with a U USB port like you have on your computer or even like you use for your phone. But they're rechargeable. This is the fast, fast flash, the slow flash, which I use a lot. A lot of people will put two of these on a bike and have them going back and forth. That way when a driver comes up from behind, they'll, they'll know you're there. <laughs> and if, especially if it's dawn or dusk, lighting is low. Uh, these things are a lifesaver. Headlamps are different. Um, a lot of people use them, but I would say more uh, no than yes. So they're, they blink too. A little hard to turn on. Yeah, real fast flash. That flash, if a, if a car is coming towards you, will, will, will make people stop what they're doing and pay attention, which makes them undistracted drivers versus distracted. So these lights, I think, are critical too, and you can really see that on the video. Um, the nice thing about both these units, this one actually has, you can turn it on to a headlamp. Like if it's dark outside and you're trying to get home, you can see where you're going. Um, they both have built-in straps. There's no need for any kind of mounting equipment or anything like you used to have in the old bikes, bike uh, lights. Um, but these go, this will go on the seat post below your rear end. You could go on the back of your helmet. I've seen a lot of guys do that. They'll do one on the helmet and one on the back of the bike. So as they turn their head, the light moves or back and forth around as far as the person from behind, a car sees them from behind. But um, just wanted to touch base on this again. Visibility is huge. Bright colored clothing is really good too. But the lights really seem to help. Um, people, you really see a cyclist uh, who um, is riding with the lights. So, here is an example of what's on my bike currently. It straps on with a strap. You can see it here. It goes in the seat post. My wife has one of the little blinkers attached to her bike rack. So, maybe that'll give you some ideas right there.